couple of sample problems here to give you a sense of how to go after them. In the questions that I create or have created for this course, uh, the biggest challenge is not necessarily getting the right answer, it's getting the right question. Understanding the question. What you're really looking for in most questions, not all, you're looking to see which curve or curves is being moved, is shifting. Is there something in there causing an increase or decrease in supply? Is there something in that question causing an increase or a decrease in demand? And so you've got to know the five forces that shift demand, the five forces that shift supply. You've got to be able to recognize them and pick them out of a question. Let's take as an example, we have a question that indicates the economy's gone into a recession. At the same time, they've found a cheaper way, lower cost way to produce a particular product. Well, a recession means that incomes fall. All right? And when we see the word incomes, two things should come to mind. One, we're talking about the demand curve moving. And two, incomes, we need to know, is this a normal good or an inferior good? In this example, uh, the recession decreases incomes, and we're talking about a normal good. So the first thing that's going to happen is there's going to be a what? A decrease in demand. We also see that lower cost of production is going to increase supply. Now, you've got both curves moving. When you have both curves moving, I suggest you work through this with the graphs, you go do it very methodically, and you draw a separate graph for each curve that's shifting. So in this example, we're going to show from the recession, we start with an initial equilibrium and we're going to see that Incomes fall, it's a normal good, there's a decrease in demand, okay? And we ask, what will that do? Well, that will reduce the price, and it will reduce quantity. So the equilibrium price and quantity are going to decrease when the demand curve decreases. We've taken care of the demand curve. Next we ask, what happens with the supply curve? Well, we know that from the initial equilibrium, we have a lower cost of production, so it's cheaper to produce, so we're willing to produce more at any given price. There will be an increase in supply. The increase in supply causes the price to fall. It causes the equilibrium quantity to increase. And so we have this effect going on as a result of the supply shift. So now we have both of these things happening at the same time, and we ask, what do they have in common? In both cases, the price is falling. So we know that's going to happen. Both of these are forcing the price down. However, in this case, we have a greater quantity being sold. In this case, we have a smaller quantity being sold. And we don't know which of these forces or which of these shifts is going to be the strongest. And so we say that the quantity, the new equilibrium quantity, is unknown. It is indeterminate or uncertain or ambiguous, any of those terms. But that's our conclusion. When we see both curves changing, we draw two graphs, and when both curves are shifting, something, either price or quantity, one or the other, is going to come up ambiguous, uncertain. Let's do another example over here very quickly. We have two goods that are complements, A and B, and when we see the word complements, what should we be thinking? Oh. This is about the demand curve. So, A and B are complements and the price of B falls. Well, when the price of B falls and we're dealing with complements, that means the demand for A, the complementary good, is going to increase. Okay? If peanut butter gets cheaper, we're going to buy more of it and we're going to need more jelly to go with it. So we have an increase in demand. Also, Improve technology. What will that do? That will increase supply. It makes it cheaper to produce, if you like to think of it that way. So we have an increase in demand, and we have an increase in supply. Both curves are shifting. Use two graphs. Graph one, increase in demand. D to D prime, right? Price goes up. Quantity increases. Okay, that's part of it. Over here also we have an increase in supply. 
supply shifts to the right. We go from one point to another point. The price falls. The quantity increases. So both of these things are happening at the same time. What's going on? Well, clearly, quantity is increasing in both cases. So we say, well, we know we're going to see an increase in equilibrium quantity or sales in the market. But there are some mixed signals about price. It's ambiguous. It may rise. It may fall. It could even stay the same if the shifts balance out. So we say the price is ambiguous, but the quantity is going to increase, and that would be our conclusion here. All right? Thanks.